Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. What I'm showing you is some of the damages caused by the cold spell. It was very heartening watching it. See the bulb was all mushy. Um, there's no way we could rescue this one. The Philanopsis orchids, see the black spots. That's all due to damage due to the cold spell. Oh, a leaf just came out. So this is very heartening, very sad watching it. I don't think this Philanopsis, it's got a new tip growing, but um, we'll watch and see. Philanopsis are all warm growing plants and for, for some reason, uh, it, these are not mine. This is my in-laws, they left it outside and forgot to bring it in. This little one survived, but at the same time, the other one in the same part, it's um, it, it has to go into the trash. So I don't know why this one survived. Uh, this one looks okay. Here's another one. The leaf on the tip looks like the newest leaf. It's um, all yellow. It should come out. Um, so the roots look okay. Here's some catalyst. They are all, they should have nice healthy green leaves. This is all brown. And see all the markings. It's, it's sad watching it. I'm just gonna try pressing the rhizomes. I mean, this, the canes, they're all bad. The soda bubbles on these are also all yellow and mushy and like pulp almost to the touch so it's really sad everything is very very soft and it got like a, it's been out it's been a few days like this so it's got like a weird smell to it doesn't smell good at all it's got like a for, like not too bad but like not good either. It's got a real, really bad smell to it too. And these bulbs, even though they look kind of green and hard, I can see it's not going to survive the cold. So I'm going to just show you some other plants. This one is a cymbidium. Some of the bulbs are looking green. The leaves on most of them are really brown and uh, some of the bulbs or the cymbidium they do look good and though the cymbidium can survive the cold for a few days this is a trial and error it's um, this one here some of the bulbs are a little bit greenish so we'll keep an eye out for it see how it goes and uh, we'll see. I'll keep an, I'll keep you updated. Now here's the third cymbidium. That's this looks like this one didn't make it at all. Completely brown. Completely wasted. Not sure. Here are some of the plants that we brought it in on time, so they are nice and green and healthy. There's nothing wrong with these. These will survive. This one's got a couple of leaves that's a little brown. So, but the plant itself looks okay. So this one was brought in ahead of time. This one, again, forgotten to bring it in. So, I think it's gone too. All of them, see how yellowish and uh, the new growths are all, like, it's just killed. It's just damaged. This is what the cold can do to you. Remember, orchids are warm growing plants. There are a few like the Miltonia, Miltonia opsis that do like the cold, but not freezing cold. Um, if you forget to bring it in, this is what will happen to your plant. Um, not good, not good at all. So, I'd like to go into the trash. I don't even think it's worth say. See how the leaves are yellowish in color. It should be. 
green. Now, I'm sorry about my camera, something happened. Um, so here it is, another set of plants, all looking bad. I don't have to give you any explanation, just looking at the leaves, just how brown and, and not green at all, how bad it is. It's really brittle, it's not soft or firm to the touch, it's just, just too bad. So just wanted to show you how to be careful when the temperatures drop, see, to bring it in way before it some of them can survive up to 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, most of them cannot. Like this, um, this one, I think it's a zygopetal. I don't think it's a zygo. I think it's a uncidium variety. Here's more. All the leaves are like all, all gone. I don't know what to say. I'm just showing it to you. Just frustrated. Even though this particular one, the old Sudabub looks green, the newest one is just just gone. There's nothing left of it. And all the eyes on the old Sudabubs are gone, so it's not going to make it. This part over here is also very mushy. So, anybody, anything like this ever happened to you? I know it's very hard. It's, see how the bottom of the Soda bulb was green, but the top was yellow, so it's all rotten. The catalyst are all gone. Everything is gone. Nothing left of it. This is so. Uh, this is sad. This is so. Uh, I I don't I don't think I'll even try to even bother to try to save these because it is just cold. Just just gone. I'm trying to see if there's anything in the base, anything in the soda bulb, anything that shows any sign. Now this is a dendrobium. It's got few canes that are looking green, a few that's brownish but nothing soft. They're all a firm. This one might survive so I'm gonna give it another chance. I'm going to keep it to the side, see how this one will do. I will keep you posted. See all the little canes at the base are all green. Though some do have like a brownish thing, but they are not mushy at all. They are nice and firm. So I hope this one, at least this one makes it. It's another Calia. This is also gone. The other leaves are all not green at all. It's just brown. It's just sad. It's gone. I'm, try I'm looking at each one plant by plant to see if there is anything that's showing any signs that is healthy or that it could survive. There's a new growth is the one that's supposed to be the new I'm sorry this one is just completely gone too that is the new growth so the new growth is gone and there is nothing left for the plant to survive so all these are also all gone all the soda bulbs as I'm pressing I can feel how mushy it is how soft it's not like dehydrator or anything it's just like touching soft sponge. It is soft. It is really not firm at all. That one had a new spike, but that one is gone. So folks, careful. I remember orchids are warm growing plants. They can't tolerate cold up to a certain temperature but um, not for too long, no, not when it drops below freezing. All these are all gone. 
this was one nice uh, purple flowering plant um, that one see how it's soft when I touch it it's just just too soft just this one here all the leaves are gone all the new there were two new growths on it those two are gone see these this is a new growth new one that was putting out that but the suit above itself looked nice green so I'm I'm hoping it'll survive I'm sorry if the camera keeps going off that's because my computer keeps if there is no action it keeps turning off so anyway just to so you show you I don't want to make you feel bad anybody you feel bad but I'm just just showing you how what the cold damage is like and what it can do to your orchids so folks be careful bring your plants in before it gets too cold um, it will not survive and here is evidence of the orchids left alone outside for too long and forgotten to bring back in. So I have to get new plants. I already ordered some uh, from Carmela's for, uh, for Thanksgiving. It should come here just in time for Thanksgiving. Um, I will keep, I will post that once it comes in. Um, and thank you for watching. I know there's nothing great to watch in this video. It's just just to show you be careful be careful guys be careful that's all I can say orchids cannot tolerate the cold so keep in mind bring it in before it's too cold and thanks for watching um, I know it's not a good uh, video so anyway I'll put more videos up and thank you once again for watching remember Bring your orchids in before it's too cold. They do not like the cold. See you later. Bye.